class now 10 we are going to start with this chapter the hack driver as we have already uh, discussed in class that after that chapter the necklace we are going to start with the last chapter that is the hack so hack you know what it is it is a sort of carriage okay which is mostly hired by people in some at some of the places and in this chapter who is the hack driver why this hack driver is so important why this character is so important actually this hack driver is a man whose name was oliver lufkins okay so this man oliver lufkins he is actually required as a summon in an important case mean you know that some means when someone is a witness to any you can say incident or any happening the person is required for his you can say witness or as a witness in the court so now you know that lawyers they I mean lawyers they have you can say apprentice lawyers also who are you can say assigned the job of finding those summons and finding those people who are related to the case and finally they are you can say approaching those people in order to get in order to present their witness so that the court case can be finished and the court case or the verdict can be in their favor okay so in this manner here is a young lawyer okay he is assigned the job to call this man oliver okay who is actually a client for an important court case so now this young lawyer who was new to this profession is learning this job so he has gone to the village which have a told to him that he is living at so and so place he has gone to new million okay so what was the name of the village it is new million when he has gone there okay the first thing is that that this young lawyer he did not know this man oliver so he has gone there in order to find this man naturally what will be the first approach when a person is going to any place he will ask about the nearby people that i am looking for this man where is he and the same approach was taken by him that he is asking for different people that i have come here for an important court case this man oliver is required in a court case and for this reason i am looking for him so he is going from one place to another and finally he got a man who told him that who is actually a hack driver okay and he has you can see he has told him okay fine oliver i know him where you can find him i will take to him for that the lawyer is spending money he has paid him some dollars also for the entire day as he hired his hack later on what happened the interesting thing that happened was that that this oliver he befooled this lawyer and how he befooled this lawyer this is the interesting thing here and then you will relate to some of your friends also who are doing these kind of things with you and sometimes they are playing pranks so finally the lawyer he found himself befooled at the end feeling himself to be quite stupid that how he was not able to get into or to see through the plans of that man so what kind of advantage this man has taken on him this we are going to read very interesting and humorous kind of story and that we are going to start so now here goes the story it is also being displayed here on your screens so let us have a reading for this chapter a young lawyer comes to a village to serve summons uh, on oliver lutkins so now as i told you that a young lawyer he has gone to this town that is new mullion and why he has gone there because he is finding a man whose name was oliver and he is finding that man as he has to serve summons in a case a friendly hack driver takes him round the village in search of lutkins yes now a friendly man who was yes naturally when the man is friendly he will be attracted towards that man he would think yes of course he will be quite helpful for me i will go along with him so now that man was quite friendly to him he has taken him around the village and in search of lutkins but does he find so now was he able to find that man oliver sometimes you spend the whole day in searching for the person finally you are not able to get that person so fine this is what has happened here so does he find who is lutkins and how and then why this man oliver he befooled the lawyer there must be some connection between these two people okay this connection we are going to find in this story so 
After graduating with honors, I became a junior assistant clerk in a magnificent law firm. The narrator is telling about himself that after completing his honors, you can say degree, okay, means specialization in law. He said that he has turned out to be a junior assistant clerk. You know that it is not like lawyers are there. So one cannot reach, you can say, the top level in one go. He has to work as an assistant learn some work because it is only by practice and experience the person learns the things. So this is how he has learned. He has learned in order to learn that you can say that work, he worked as a junior assistant clerk in a magnificent law firm, which are big law firms. They hire lawyers also. And to the new ones, they are providing experiences. I was sent not to prepare legal briefs, but to serve someone. So what was his job? He said, my job was not to prepare legal briefs, means to jot down the main points of the case. And next, what step is to be taken according to which uh, law this is, you can say, proved here. He said, I'm not going to make these kind of legal briefs. Brief means short summaries. But my job was to serve someone, means the persons who are required in the case, I need to approach them and bring to the law firm for their, for in order to present them as witness. And it is like a private detective. And he said, this job was really not, you can say, admirable on my part, as it really seems to be a, like a very cheap detective. I'm looking for the persons going to another, finding those persons. I had to go to dirty, shadowy corners of the city to seek out my Victims, no, no, for that purpose, what he has to do, he has to go to those places, those shadowy places also, okay, in order to find his victims, what victim means, the persons who are required in the cases, he has to go to the remote corners, naturally, the persons uh, who are witness to the case, they are not living in posh and you can say rich areas, they are common people, sometimes of, you can say, of, you can say, uh, like that, um, objectionable background also. So he said, it is just because, because of this reason, I need to go to some shadowy corners of the city to find out my summons. Some of the larger and more self-confident ones even beat me up. So underline this line, very important thing here. This is giving us a hint, okay, what is going to happen. So he said, some who are very clever because people, they used to avoid these kind of, you can say, court cases. They never like to come up in light. And they never like to be witnessed because they this will help them to avoid long, you can say, hearings of the court case and all that. They want never to go to the court. And for this reason, he said that at some times, some people, they also avoid me. And it is just because of this reason, they beat me up that they that they deject me, they cheat me up that they are not at that, that they were not present at that moment or they were not at all related with the court case. So, I hated this unpleasant work and the sight of city life. It reveals to me. So, he said, but this kind of work I did not like at all. Okay. And of course, he said, this city life, he has also told me that whatever work I was doing, it was not really good. I even considered clinging to my hometown. Clean means running to my hometown where I could have been a real lawyer right away without going through this unpleasant training period. So he said, sometimes I thought that I should go to my hometown where I should start my own, you can say, office. And I could, re I could really be a lawyer instead of, you can say, serving this kind of, you can say, job in which I'm calling for summons and Ending, giving an end to this unpleasant training period. He said, I never wanted that. What I actually wanted is that, that I should start my own business. So from the first paragraph, what we have come to know, we have come to know that the lawyer, he was quite unhappy with this work. Why? Because he's not, you can say, uh, doing the work related to law, but he is doing a small job of serving the summons and it was of course an unpleasant one as it has made him witness to one of the remote corners of the city and this has also robbed him of his self-confidence and it is just because of this reason he was not at all feeling happy 
so so i rejoiced one day when they sent me out 40 miles in the country so one day what happened they have sent him to a town named as new million this is the name of the town okay so he said i was very happy i rejoiced i was happy at this you can say at the prospect of this that finally out of this you can say shabby places of the city remote corners of the city i need to go to the countryside where i can enjoy i can have some fresh air to breathe also and he is going to serve summons on a man called oliver lipkins and for what purpose he is going he is going to serve summons for this man whose name was oliver and he is going there for this first purpose we needed this man as a witness in a law case why he is going to serve summons for this man as this man was required as a witness in a law case and he had ignored all our letters they have sent him letters you can come you are required in a court case but this man he has ignored all the letters so now what happened now a person is to be sent in order to meet him and to bring here here in the court so that <coughs> they can put a full stop to this that case now he was happy to go there so finally let us see what happened when i got to new million my eager expectations of a sweet and simple country village were severely disappointed so he said when i reached at the outskirts of this town this small village new million he said my expectations that what i expected that it must be a beautiful green lush green and fresh uh, you can say and neat and clean village it would be that all would or that all my that all my wishes they had come to an end he was so disappointed why he was disappointed see its streets were rivers of mud so much of mud with rows of wooden shops either painted or sour brown means roughly painted of brown color and bear of any paint at all and some of the shops were without any paint giving very shabby look okay not properly maintained the only agreeable means admirable sight or to which to some extent he thought that this is good is about the place was the delivery man at the station he said but the only thing that i found pleasing at that place was it was the delivery man okay delivery man means the person who who means whose cab or whose cab you can hire in order to take you so now he said there is only just one you can say thing that was agreeable at that man he was the delivery man at the station who was very you can say cooperative in nature now see the expl explanation he was about 40 red faced cheerful think about the middle middle means that tummy region is thick means healthier one his working clothes were dirty and well worn and he had a friendly manner and you felt at once that he liked people okay so this is the appearance of the delivery man and who is this delivery man it is oliver okay for okay oliver he has met there now now finally this is the i was there actually okay right the delivery man so finally what has happened what age he was he was of 40s he was in his 40s red face okay thick in the middle and he was wearing not so clean clothes but properly worn and ultimately quite friendly in nature naturally when he has seen this man he thought that he is quite pleasing and he has told that man for what purpose he has come up with he said i want to find a man named oliver lutkins so that lawyer when he has reached at the station he told that man the hack driver so now see the next page here this is the hack okay and this is the hack driver and now this is the hack driver and this is the lawyer and what he said that i have come here to find a man whose name is oliver lutkins now lutkins I saw him around here about an hour ago. He said, "Oh, oh, you are you are going to find Lutkins." He said, "Just before an hour, he was here only." Hard fellow to catch, though. He said, "It is really very difficult to catch him. He's never staying at one place. Always up to something or other. Means he's always doing one or the 
other thing and it is not easy to find that man he is probably trying to start up a poker game in the back of rich shop rich shop here is the name of a shop he said now i at this time i think he at the back of rich shop he is going to play this poker game i think he must be there we need to go there i will tell you boy is there any hurry about the kitchen good can she said okay we will find him but tell me are you really in such a great hurry to find this man yes i want to catch the afternoon train back to the city and i was very important and secret about it he said yes i need to find this man uh, within you can say short time as afterwards what will happen that i have to find uh, i have to catch my Uh, train back to my city, and I have to go back. And there is something secret. Now, this thing when he has told that something secret, this alarm hack driver. I tell you what, I have got a hack. I'll get it out, and we can drive around together and find the things. I know most of the places he hangs out. He says, "Don't worry, I have a hack. Let me bring my hack." and you can hire my hack and i will take you around the village where he often goes and we can easily find this man he was so open and friendly that i glowed with the warm hopis affection glowed with the warm hopis affection means that i was really very happy with the type of affection as well as you can say this humble behavior that he was displaying he said he was really very open and friendly i haven't found such a good man around this village i knew of course that he wanted the business but his kindness was real he said lawyer said i knew that he wanted some you can say traveler or he wanted some business that someone could hire his hack but actually he said but the kindness that he was showing is of course real there is nothing you can say falsity in that i was glad the pair money would go to this good fellow and even lawyer said being very humble he is going to be very humble he is going to be very genuine and for this purpose what he said even i thought that my money should go to this you can say genuine person only good person i managed to bargain down to 2 dollars an hour he asked for 3 to 5 dollars an hour but he said then i bargained with him i said no I will give you two dollars an hour, and then he brought from his house nearby a sort of large black box on wheels. Then what happened? He said. Then his house was also nearby. From near his house, he has brought down a large black box on wheels. Means a carriage. He remarked, "Well, young man, here's the carriage." And his white smile made me into an old friend. So with a smiling face, he said, "My dear friend, this is my carriage." And he said, the way he was smiling, it was giving me an indication that he was like my old friend. These villagers are so ready to help a stranger. He had already made it his own task to find a little lookness for me. He said, "How." you can say how humble and how great these villages how helping these villages are so now there is of course a difference between village people and city people city people because they are more practical they turn out to be cold but if you go to a village you will find the people quite you can say admirable they are for helping if you are in problem so many people will come and ultimately try to help you out so he said that these villages they are really ready to help a stranger he said in my entire life i have never witnessed such a man and even in the city life also i have never had got a chance to find this kind of you can say helping hand or affectionate behavior from anyone else so he had already made it his own task it means now i have come to find oliver but this man he has taken it as his own job that it is his responsibility to find oliver and now he is taking me around the corner and around the village to find this man oliver now let us see what what prank he will or what trick he will play with him very interesting we come to that he said i don't want to interfere young fellow but my guess is do you want to collect some napkins so he said actually uh, my young fellow means to the narrator to the lawyer who has come to find oliver he said actually 
I don't want to interfere in your business. Means what you want to do with Oliver? But uh, is there some money problem that you want to guess? I guess that you have to get some money from that man. He never pays anybody a cent. He's now he is giving a hint that he is such a kind of fellow that he is never giving money, returning money back from whom he has taken. Can he still owes me fifty cents on a poker game? He said he has a bet with me on a poker game, and I won. And now he has to pay me fifty cents. It was long time back, and still now he has not paid me that money. So now finally you can see in the picture that this is the hack driver lawyer, and they were talking and conversating with each other. They were moving around the village to find Oliver. And hack driver is you can say telling the actual qualities of Oliver. Okay, so I was fool enough to play with him. He said, "Actually, it is my fault that I played with him. He has not returned my money. He is not really bad, but it's hard to make him part with his money." Actually, he said, "It is not that that he is actually bad, but the actual thing is that it is really very difficult to get money out of him because he is loving money a lot. If you try to collect from him." in those fancy clothes he will be suspicious and get away from you and if you want i will go into fritz and ask for him and you can keep out of sight behind him now see the next thing what he has told hack driver said now my dear fellow i will suggest you one thing if in you such a dressed up manner smartly dressed up attire you will go to fritz shop he will immediately come to know that he you have come to find him He said, "I suggest you that you will stay here in the hack. I will go inside the fridge shop to find that Oliver, whether he is there or not. And you better remain out of sight. He should not come to know that you have come here in order to find him." I loved him for this by myself. I might never have found the things with the hack drivers knowing help. I was sure of getting my man. He said. I loved for I loved him for this. He said, "I like this idea. Whatever suggestion he has given me, that was absolutely fine." He said that I was sure. I was sure that I will get this man because with the help of this hack driver, I am sure that I am going to get that man. I took him into my confidence and told him that I wanted to serve the summons on Lipkins. now he said i took him into my confidence yes he took him into his confidence told him i wanted to serve summons on the things and now see the thing the lawyer has told him the reality for why he has or what is the purpose of his visit he said i told him that actually he has come to serve summons for lakin and this is the reason why he has come here as man had refused to be a witness when his information would have quickly settled our case he said actually we have sent letters to this man but he completely refused to be our witness because this will ultimately because his you can say opinion or his statement is so important in the case that it will ultimately bring an end to our case the driver listened honestly very honestly honestly means honestly and carefully he was listening to it at the end he hit me on the shoulder and laughed well we will give brother lakins a little surprise now finally complete confidence he hit him on his shoulder and said don't worry we will give him a surprise that you are going to find him let's start driver now he said let's start most folks around here call me bill or magnuson my business is called william magnuson fancy carrying and hacking so what he has told what is the job of that delivery man he said that i am here and my name is bill magnuson and most of the time people are here calling my business as william william magnuson fancy cat cat carting and hacking business so underline this means this is the job of the man that what kind of job he is doing All right, Bill. Shall we proceed to Fritz now? Lawyer, being very confident, he said, "Okay." He never wanted to waste time in gossiping. He said, "All right, Bill. Now let us go to Fritz." Yes, Lutkins is just as likely to be there as anywhere. He said, "Yes, yes. 
we need to go there lakins can be there any moment he plays a lot of poker very you can say he is fond of playing this poker game he is good at deceiving people means what kind of man he often deceive people cheat people of their money people seems to admire lakins talent for this honesty and he said what the funny thing is that people like to make fun of him sorry people like to admire him for his dishonesty like he is doing his dishonest jobs with complete honesty and i felt that if he had been a policeman he would have caught lukins respectfully and jailed him with regret so now he said he what he said that if he had been if he had been a policeman he would have caught him and ultimately he thought that i have done a wrong thing by putting him in jail bill let me into fritz means now this hack driver who said my name is bill he has taken him to fritz shop now have you seen oliver around today friend of his looking for him said bill cheerily cheerily now some man was there he said now a friend of bill has a friend friend of oliver has come to see him have you seen him anywhere fritz looked at me hiding behind bill he hesitated and then admitted yes he was in here a little while ago guess he's gone over to gustav's to get a shave gustav shop is a shop of a barber okay gustav shop is gustav is the name and this is the shop of a barber this is the shop of a barber he said now fritz when he looked at bill he hit something behind bill and in a hesitant manner what he said he said yes a little while ago he was there but now i think he has gone to the staff shop to have a shave well if he comes in tell him i am looking for him now what he said bill said okay fine if he will come tell him that i have come to find him now next what what were their destination they were going to the staff shop just as barber shop they have got again bill went in first who has gone inside lawyer was outside only bill has gone inside and i lingered at the door means lingered means he stayed at the door he asked not only the switch but two customers of they had seen lutkins he had asked the main owner of the shop and moreover he has also asked the other two customers to ask for lutkins the swed had not he said angrily i haven't seen him and don't care to but if you find him you can just collect that dollar 35 he owed me he said he angrily said no i haven't seen him he said but if you find him tell him to return my 35 dollars no one of the customers thought he had seen lutkins walking down main street this side of the hotel now one of the customers said yes i have seen him going to that side of the hotel you can go and find them there as we climbed back into the back into the hack bill concluded that since lutkins had exhausted his credit at gustavs he had probably gone to grace for a shave now bill came into the hack he said i think that he has to give that 35 dollars to gustavs so he must not be coming here he must be gone to gray shop for his shave at gray's barber shop we missed lutkins by only 5 minutes so now he said when we go went there someone told us just 5 minutes before oliver has gone from here he had just left probably for the pool room pool room is again a game somebody said that he must have gone for pool room means there a game of you can say gambling for that purpose he must have gone there at the pool room it appeared that he has just bought a pack of cigarettes and gone out when they reached that gambling place gambling saloon they found they got to know that he came there but just 2 minutes before he has purchased a pack of cigarettes and has gone from that place also naturally they were pursuing him so we pursued him followed him just behind him but never catching him they were just following him but they were not able to catch him and for an hour till it was past one o'clock so for an hour they were after you can say 
uh, Oliver, but they were not finding him. It almost passed one. It was almost one o'clock. I was hungry, but I had so enjoyed Bill's rough country opinions about his neighbors that I scarcely cared whether I find Lutkins or not. So now, what he said? He said, he said, I really enjoyed. You can say Bill's company at that moment. What he was telling about his neighbors. He was so cheerful a man that that I for even forget that where is Lutkins and I have come here to find him. So this was actually his you can say main thing for which purpose he has come there. He said I for even forget about it that I have come here to find Lutkins. Now how about something to eat? Now it's uh, you can solve most afternoon. He said what about eating something? You want something? Let's go to a restaurant. I'll buy you lunch. He said, "There's a nearby restaurant. We can go there, and I can get lunch for you." Well, I ought to go home to the wife. I don't care much for these restaurants. Only four of them, and they are all bad. Bill said, "No, I don't like to eat in these restaurants because my house is nearby. I'll go to my wife. She will. Uh, she my lunch will be ready." She must be preparing for it, and there are only four restaurants. Not even a single one is good. Tell you what, we will do. We will get the wife to pack up lunch for us. We won't. She won't change. She won't charge you more than half a dollar, and it would cost you more than more for a greasy meal in a restaurant. And we will go up to Wade's Hill and enjoy the view while we eat. He said, "Actually, I think you better also come along with me." To uh, uh, to have lunch at my house, my wife will actually prepare. She won't charge more. He said, she will only you can say charge you like half a dollar, okay, and that will save you from the greasy, that oily food of the restaurant. And we will go to the wait sill and enjoy the complete scene there. It's a beautiful view, and we will have our lunch there. So, finally, what happened? That he decided to go along with hack driver, the delivery man to his house to get a pal lunch box. They got the lunch and finally they went to Wade Hill in order to enjoy the scene and in order to have their lunch. So this is how that they have started their you can say uh, their journey to find Oliver. So now the thing is that whether they will be able to find Oliver, how. Oliver is, you can say, befooling new, befooling this lawyer. This is the main thing here. And who is responsible of befooling him? This we are going to read in this story in our next lecture. Now, if you have any doubt, you can ask me.